All right, let's see how much the 15 Pro Max is. $1,400 for the 15 Pro and $1,700 for the 15 Pro Max. Oh my God. I mean, I still have my 12 Pro and it's still working okay. It's just nice to get a new one. But honestly, for $1,700 plus tax, I don't know with everything going on in my struggling creator salary. This is so tough, but I want it so bad and for YouTube as well. <sighs> I don't know. I don't want to struggle for this, so I guess it's not me. Hmm? Leia? Hey, I got my 15 Pro Max today. Do you need it at all or are you good? Ah! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you drink Starbucks or Tim's? I can grab it before you come. I'm good, thank you. I'm gonna drop it off in the morning on my way to work if that's cool, around 9.45. It is happening! The 15 Pro Max is happening. Friends, the phone is finally here. I am so excited. Huge shout out to Leia, my sister's friend, for letting me borrow her phone. I am so excited to unbox it and give you some first impressions. I have never seen this phone in person. I was meaning to go to the mall to check it out, but it has been so busy lately. So honestly, this is my genuine first reaction. I haven't seen it in person at all. So let's go ahead and unbox it. And for the reveal, guys, oh my gosh. I honestly did not check out the colors. I thought natural titanium was gonna be darker. This is so beautiful. Guys, the camera bumps are beautiful. I honestly love this. It's like a light gray. And of course we have the titanium sides as well. Right off the bat, the rounded edges is really nice touch. Honestly, it's not as um, sharp corner as the older models, but yeah. How satisfying. Guys, this screen is beautiful. We have the dynamic island. Then we have the power button on the side over here. All right, let's customize the action button. We got silent mode. Focus, which I use a lot when I'm working, so that's probably gonna come in handy. We have a camera, also gonna be really handy. Flashlight, voice memo, magnifier, and accessibility, and no action. So let's set it up to camera because I'm gonna be using this phone to vlog throughout the day. The first thing I did was change my camera settings. I like to record in 4K and 30 frames per second. Then I change it to most compatible and Apple Pro Res, so I have the option to use this when I'm recording or taking pictures. Next, I turn on night mode, portrait zoom, grid, and level. And here we have it, the 15 Pro Max front camera. I have two studio lights shining on me and natural light, so this is what it looks like. I will test it in low light later tonight as well. But yeah, there shouldn't be a big difference in quality between the 14 Pro Max and the 15 Pro Max because there wasn't that much of a change in specs. But honestly, I really like the quality of the camera. You can literally see all of my hairs like so bad everything's poking out so this is what i'm working with i've got some natural light and studio lights here and of course my lamp you So we are about to film some YouTube shorts, B-rolls, and thumbnails. Hopefully I can get it done in about an hour. I have an appointment to go to, but little hack if you are a creator. If you use your Apple Watch camera app, you can see yourself in the watch so that way you're not um, shimming back and forth. But yeah, let's go. 
Guys, I forgot to zip up my fly, my bad. Let's try to ignore this while I'm recording YouTube Shorts. And then here I'm just recording some b-rolls for this video and maybe future content. Since I only have this phone for about 24 hours, I try to get the most out of it. Guys, scrolling on the 15 Pro Max is really great because of the 6.7 inch screen. Everything's just easier to consume since it's bigger. Plus, scrolling is really fluid with Pro Motion. Typing on this is quite comfortable because of the curved edges. It sits really nice on my pinky. It doesn't dig in and the titanium size allows the phone to not feel so heavy on my fingers. Editing on the screen is much easier and faster as well. I can see small details better than on the standard 6.1 inch screen. Plus, editing tools have so many features, little um, knickknacks here and there. So a bigger screen allows you to choose whatever you need and edit a lot better. I already got some good footage for my YouTube shorts and some thumbnail pictures, but before I go to the appointment, I need to eat because it's gonna be such a long day. My hair looks so whack with all the baby hairs. Oh my God. Guys, I just finished. I couldn't get a recording. Um, I wanted to and then I just forgot. But it was pretty painful in the private area, but on my legs, it wasn't too bad. Yes, it does hurt, but over time it should be fine. I will be able to do it for another day. But anyways, let's head on home and chill. As I was driving home, I noticed that the moon was looking so bright and there were so much beautiful trees that I wanted to take a picture of. So I just parked on the side and took some pictures. I had to hand it to Apple. Night mode is really amazing. The pictures come out brighter than expected, but also still retains those key features and colors without it being too overly exposed and bright. After editing, you can still bring out those highlights and restore missing details. When it comes to taking pictures of the moon, having a steady hand does help to have a clear pictures here are my pictures of the moon I definitely had to go through so many tries to get the perfect one but after it was edited I think it turned out really great I'm just taking some photos of trees moon and my car testing out the low light camera here honestly I am glad that they increased the zoom even though it's not a hundred times zoom like Samsung's but I do appreciate it Anyways, I'm kind of looking a little crazy. There's so much people driving, walking, so I'm gonna head on home now and um, yeah. Morning beautiful souls. It is currently the next day and I know I'm not doing a day in the life But I wanted to do a quick battery check-in see how much battery last night We ended with 67% battery and an hour and 14 minutes of screen time this morning I used the phone to play music talk to my friends So we are now at an hour and 38 minutes for screen time and 57% battery We also had it on always on display overnight. So I went down about 10% But anyways, I'm about to go on a walk because I didn't go to the gym this morning so while we're walking i'm gonna take some pretty pictures of the trees and whatnot so yeah let's go on my walk there was so much beautiful trees i couldn't help but record and take pictures the iphone does an amazing job recording and making the footage look true to color oftentimes i'll up the saturation just a little bit but uh guys look at these colors the leaves blowing in the wind i'm just so glad the trees are looking amazing during this recording the zoom is also also really good at keeping the footage clear and sharp in post I may sharpen the footage a little bit just to make it look better here are just some more pictures that I took 
All right, we know that there wasn't a big difference when it came to 14 to the 15 lines when it comes to specs and camera. But if you are thinking of getting the 15 and you have like the 10, 11, or 12 models, or even older, then I do think it is worth getting the 15 lines. There's gonna be a much bigger jump in specs. We have the 48 megapixel camera. We have better stabilization, cinematic mode, the 5X optical zoom, and 25X digital zoom. So if you have the 10 models 11 or 12 or older it is worth looking into the 15 lines but if you want to save a little bit more money and go with the 14 lines that's also a great option as well A huge part of my day in the life videos is visiting cafes in my city. So today we're visiting Balzac's known for their beautiful interior details and of course great coffee. Today I went with the latte but I honestly love their matcha, you have to get it hot. First we're going to do some journaling and b-rolls because again I want to get the most out of this phone since I only have it for 24 hours. Guys, look at how clean the ProRes footage looks like. I didn't even edit it, and it looks like I put an ND filter over my camera, but really, it's just a ProRes footage. I am just looking through the photos and I honestly love how the pictures of the trees came out. The saturation is so high and even with the digital zoom, there is quite a lot of detail. So I'm just going to go through them, take them, choose the ones I want to edit and see how they come out. But yeah, I honestly love like fall trees when they turn orange and red. I have a bajillion pictures of them. They all look the same, but they look so pretty. And what's new with the iOS 17, I believe, is that when you look up a picture, the uh, in-app photo app will already identify the object. So here it is identifying that it's a blue spruce tree. So that's really interesting. And it gives you other options. Also, you can add a note now. I really like that because then I can take notes like, is this a 25X zoom, a 5X zoom? So this one is a 5X zoom. So this is gonna help me when I'm editing and putting photos together and I can um, write out what it is. Here's just my process of editing raw photos. I'm always so pleasantly surprised when I'm done. I usually edit them in the photo app then bring it over to Visco for the finishing touches, but this time I didn't need to. And did you know you can copy edits and then paste them to other pictures if you don't want to redo it all and don't remember and you get the same theme. I appreciate that the bezels have gone thinner over the years. This just makes the screen look much bigger. A little goes a long way. Here I'm just looking at some braces I want to get in the future. Guys, are they not so cute with the smiles? Y'all, look how flawless my skin looks in ProRes. I am facing the window, the sun is hitting my face really nicely, but the footage does not look overly bright or overly exposed. ProRes has such a clean and sharp look to it, almost like an ND filter is over it. So while we wait for my soup to warm up, and we are on a little bit of a time constraint because uh, my sister's friend is going to be picking up the phone in about a couple hours. I need to transfer everything over and charge it, but thankfully it is now USB-C, so it will transfer files a lot faster than Thunderbolt. Charger. And since I don't have a case, I'm placing it on a paper towel. Oh man, all right.
guys, I made a Vietnamese spare rib soup with potato and carrots. Mm. 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 So good. Imports are all set and done. It is 2.20 p.m. I don't know what time I started um, importing, but I'll have it on the screen how long it took and how much uh, items or gigabytes I stored, but that is all done. I am gonna go charge the uh, phone real quick. Before I plugged in my phone to transfer the files, the battery was at 20% and I had it at lower power mode. So at that time, I probably had three hours and 20 minutes of screen time. After that, I didn't use the phone at all except for transferring files. And so now that I've had it plugged into my um, MacBook for about 20 minutes, it is now back up to 35%. So let's ignore the fact that I charged it. Prior to that, it was at around 20% and with three hours and 20 minutes of screen time. So with that being said, I used the battery from about 84% all the way to 20% in the matter of about 24 hours. I've had this phone for literally 24 hours. And so with always on display on, I would say the battery is pretty good. Considering there is no SIM card, the battery would probably be more drained if the SIM card was in it. Oh, thanks was in it but overall the battery seems to perform really well 50 percent of the time i was recording videos and taking photos pro res pro raw editing photos as well of course going on social media watching some videos my initial first impressions of the iphone 15 pro is that it is very light i am so surprised at how light it is after using it for so many hours throughout my day not once did i feel like it was way too heavy on my pinky which I actually experienced with the 6 Plus way back in the day, but I wasn't really used to holding the phone that much versus now. So yes, I absolutely love the titanium finish. I love the curved edges. It doesn't leave a sharp indent in my pinky. Also guys, because of the titanium finish, there's barely any fingerprint um, on the sides, which I love. I honestly love the look of a clean phone. If it were up to me, I don't like wearing cases that much. So if it was my phone, I would wear this without a case because the titanium finish is the biggest change that came to the iPhone 15. So you kind of want to show it off. If you're not showing it off, then it's kind of like pointless. However, I'm going to end the video here. So if you haven't already, slap that like button for me. I would totally appreciate it. However, that is it for me and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.